Oh, sh- <laughs> Good morning, guys. Finally back for the video. Today, I'm going to be sharing an app called Amy with you guys. I put up a poll in my community tab a few days ago, and you guys voted on this one. And I don't know if you guys' idea of this app is the same as mine, but I think this is the cutest, most fun calendar app that I've ever used that is also functional. So let's get right into it. I also want to just tell you guys that this app is still in beta which means you'll have to join a waitlist or have an invite from someone who's already using the app to be able to use the app. But I do think this app deserves every single piece of buzz that it's getting because it's so nice, so good, so perfect. So yeah, if you like this app, maybe go follow them on Twitter, join the waitlist and share about this app so that more people can get to know about this app. If I were to summarize this app, I would think that this is something like what I would expect Apple's calendar to be like, because the design is really, really Apple-esque and the features are really clean. The animations are really clean that you would expect something from this, like this from Apple, but it is not from Apple. So it's like a little bit, how do they think of this? So let's get into it. I have it on my phone right here, but it's mainly a desktop app. So you just download it on your Mac or whatever, but you'll also have a companion app on your phone that can do pretty much the same things. So obviously once you click into it, you can see the design, which is the major reason why I chose to test this app out. It's super cute and the colors are really amazing. The preset colors are really amazing. You can time block, color block every single one of your events when you import your calendar. So I imported all my calendars from Google Calendar, which is the one that I'm using so I can share with other people but I just synced my calendar through that. I mainly have pink for my work stuff and green for entertainment stuff and then blue for appointments and yellow for personal stuff, if my memory serves me correctly. But the, yeah, the colors is a main, is major reason why I chose to use this app. It just looks so sleek, so beautiful, so amazing. The second major feature that I wanted to try out is something that I haven't been able to try out yet because I don't have friends that are using this app yet because it's still in beta, but they have a friends feature. So basically you have a little profile. So basically you have a little profile on the app and you can tag your Twitter handle. You can put some quotes on there in the notes section. You can also link your Spotify to show your most recently played song. And then there's also a map if you work in a company that has remote working or if different people from different places if you have friends from in different countries you can take a look at their map or maybe they're going on vacation i don't know but i just thought it was really neat you also have the birthdays of different people and in the ios app you also have a widget for the counting down of your friends birthdays so this is why i'm really really excited for all of my friends to start using this app i'm going to force all of them to use it but i'm still waiting on my own invite link so that I could invite people to join this app. And then another really cool thing is that they have to-do lists. You can create as many lists as you want and you can add the tasks. You can even drag the tasks to your timeline so that you can time block your tasks, which if you know me, you know is really important to me to be able to time block tasks. One thing that I do want them to implement though is to be able to put the tasks on top of the timeline, like in the all day section, because Sometimes I just don't want to time block certain tasks. I just want to be able to do it whatever in the day. Another really, really nice feature that I've been using that I didn't really think about when I started using this app is the Spotify and sleep tracking syncing. So if you're using an iPhone, will have a sleep tracking feature in your health app. So in your iOS Amy app, you can allow their permissions to access your health sleeping data to be able to show it on the calendar, which is super nice. They also have a little line on the left of your timeline to show when you played different songs. This doesn't work with Apple Music, which is why I switched from Apple Music to Spotify once again. So I'll be able to look at the timeline of what songs I played throughout the day, which is super cute and nice. And your friends, as I said before, can also look at the songs that you've played throughout the day. And this is not a functionality thing, but it's really fun to be able to look back at the five songs that I play on repeat every day. And the last feature I wanted to talk about in this app is really common in most of the calendar apps that is available recently. It is a sharing availability 
feature. So, you know, when you want to make plans with your friends and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm available on this day, you're available on this day. And then your friend says, no, I'm not available on that day. What about this day? And you, you just go back and forth every, every hour or so, or whatever you're available to read a message and you just stop making plans because it's so annoying. And Amy, you can send a link to your friends to share all your available time slots or choose specific slots to share to your friends so that your friends can see at a glance which slots you're available in. Woven is the first app to do this, I think, but it's just really convenient to do all that, especially considering that you can follow your friends' calendars or profiles in this app. So it just makes more sense to be able to share your link to share your availability time slots. So those are all the features that is in this app. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just thought this was a really cool and nice app. You, when you look at the design of this website and you scroll through the introduction for this app, you just kind of scream you want it because it's so beautifully designed. As I said before, this just really looks like an app that Apple would like to make, like the whole ecosystem of adding your friends and then just for it to be really minimal and yet really functional. It's just really nice. It's just feels really modern and yet cute at the same time. Needless to say, I'm really, really excited for this app to go public and for everyone to be able to try this out. But for now, you have to join the waitlist, which it's kind of sad to say because I did get a couple of DMs of people just wanting to get an invite link from me and sad. I'm, it's sad to say that I do not yet have an invite link available. So yeah, I'm sorry if I disappointed you guys because you can't try this app r out right away. But trust me, follow them on Twitter and at this rate, it will be going public really soon and I'm really excited for you guys to be able to use it and maybe follow me on there as well so you can know my publishing schedule. Maybe, I don't know how I'll use it yet, but I just hope you liked my sharing for today and I'm really grateful that Bean has stay on, stayed on my lap this whole time and she was sleeping, so she was biting me before this, but um, she was good for this recording. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. She has become the boss. Each other.